thank you so much for saying that because I was uh, a little bit nervous about how many rotten tomatoes there might be tucked away in handbags there. So, uh, so thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I am working really hard behind the scenes, actually. Um, I just want to start by saying sorry. I don't know if that means anything. So you'll have to bear with me, but I am sorry. I can't speak for the government, you know, I can't speak for Jeremy Hunt, I can only speak for how I feel and how I believe in the Conservative Party that this has gone really badly wrong and I'm just sorry and I hope it's not too late to try and turn things around and that's really what I want to try and concentrate on. Because, you know, we have, I think we have that, um, I still think we have that opportunity to do it. Um, I hope you'll forgive me. I, I try, any of you who've heard me speak or met me already, you'll know that I tend to say it how I think. And that sometimes has got me in a bit of trouble already. Um, so I hope you'll bear with me. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to defend Jeremy Hunt to the hilt or the government, but nor am I going to decry him. Because if, if I am going to be successful, hopefully with Johan's help, um, in achieving some change, then I don't think it will do me any favours with Jeremy Hunt if I'm reported back being derogatory or... So please don't feel that I'm skirting issues, but I just don't think that that will be positive for us to move this forward, so I hope you'll forgive me for that. But, you know, what I would say, however, there are... Harriet, I don't think Harriet's here yet, is she? Um, Harriet, who um, convened a meeting for me to meet some junior doctors a couple of weeks ago, um, tried really hard to explain to me all the intricacies of the contract and why it does not doesn't work. And forgive me, I haven't got all of it, but there are some things that do leap out to me as a layman as being just wrong. You know, when, when ever did going from 7 till 7 Monday to Friday to 7 till 10 Monday to Saturday be regular hours? I mean, in any profession, let alone one where your knowledge and decision-making is so crucial and getting it wrong has incredible potential. So there are things about the contract that I, just, I don't like the sound of, that don't seem right to me. And um, I'm starting to get my head around the idea about, particularly for women, if you're taking time off for maternity, going away to have children, coming back, this issue with your pay not necessarily, key. I get that. So there are parts of the contract I don't understand at all, but there are parts of it that do ring loud and clear to me as, hmm, not really sure about that. I do believe you when you say this isn't about money. I do believe that. I do believe that some of you and your colleagues might be thinking about New Zealand or Australia or wherever else that might be, or investment banking. Hey, I've got a science degree and I didn't end up using it, so I know there's a lot of us that don't. Um, I do believe that you care an awful lot. And this isn't driven by ego or power or any of those things, those militant words that often, you know, the brazier image that, um, that Daniel described, you know, that's not what strikes or, or passion is about necessarily. I do believe that. <coughs> and I do believe that you don't want to strike. And I believe that Jeremy Hunt doesn't want you to either. And I also believe that you won't be bullied. And that was a word that you mentioned. You won't be bullied. You're too bright, you're too caring, you're too passionate, <coughs> and you're too right to be bullied actually. So just for the record, that's that means the bullying will stop. What for me? No, not from you. <laughs> well, I, need, I need the Prime Minister, you know that, from Jeremy Hunt. The bullying will stop. I can't, I can't say... No preconditions. Well, this is the thing, and Daniel mentioned it, you know, we both had a question um, this week in the health questions. I'm sorry for me tweeting that a few people, I think, didn't think that was a very good thing to do, but I just wanted people to know instantly that I kind of asked a question, and people then thought that you know, health policy was being divulged by Twitter, which it wasn't at all, it was just... Um, I, um, we'll, we'll hold the questions to the end, I think. Um, I think we were trying to flush him out with that tweet. <laughs> it didn't work. We'll hold the I'm still learning, I'm still learning. Don't let um, interrupt you. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so you were saying, will the bullying, will the black people I don't know. I don't know. Genuinely. But you know, I'm not a personal friend of Jeremy Hunt. I'm, I'm getting to know him. That's why we like you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing that. We're <laughs> all friends. Um, I don't know. I'd like to think maybe. I'd like to think let's try. And I suppose that is the bottom line, um, and I'm hoping we'll have a conversation later. I'm hoping that by showing 
that willingness to, to you know, that phrase, get round the table again, that that might give opportunities for that to be removed. I think if we don't get round the table, one thing I know for certain is it's not going anywhere. And that is the blunt truth. He, um, he's absolutely focused on delivering this seven day concept to the NHS. You know, that's in the manifesto. Um, and was it something that you mentioned about the GPs and not, not feeling that we necessarily need GP coverage? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I, I did a shift at York Street. Sorry, that's in your area. I forgot to tell you. Um, <laughs> 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 oh, no, this is mine. So. Um, I, I did a, a 10-hour shift at GPs, and that was absolutely right. And they put on weekend shifts, and nobody came. <laughs> so I, I do think there's something in that. But you know, you have to respect whether we think it's right or wrong. You know, if this is what the manifesto is, then this is his goal. But what I think the role that you have, that we have is to say, okay, well, that's accepted, that's the goal. How do we decide the best way to achieve it? Don't tell us that this contract is the best way to achieve it because there are clearly things of, uh, within it. This concept, we you know, without the extra funding, without the extra doctors, well, doesn't it just mean that doctors are going to be spread more thinly over the weekend? You know? So there are things about it that operationally just don't seem to make sense. But I think we need to get around that table to have any chance of that final precondition um, being taken away. I don't know how we got here. I, I have a little experience of negotiating with unions when I work for All Mail, and I never got here. Um, it's a sign of failure, and I don't know whose side that's on, but you know there are two sides and it's those two sides that tango and we've got to get those two sides back together again. Because I desperately don't want you to go on strike, and I'm sure you don't either. Um, I had a conversation with Jeremy Hunt last night, very briefly, and I spoke to him again today, um, and he has said absolutely, 100% genuinely, if you and he want to meet, seriously, just one-to-one. -one. Um, what was quite interesting, he said, well, normally what ha would happen, Heidi, in negotiations is my negotiating team would meet with Johan's negotiating team. And I was like, guys. <laughs> have all the wine, you know, just sit down. And I would love to facilitate that if you feel that you want to do that. That time, I'm not here to bash the government. I'm not here to sing the praises of the government. I'm here to say I want to try and help find a way through this because I suspect that's what you want to do too. Um, and now is the time to do that because thinking it about it a little bit strategically, and I'm sure you've done this, had sleepless nights about it. I'm sure a lot of you have as well. If we get to the stage where we strike. Honestly, and I'm not saying this in any way to lead you because you know you will of course make up your own minds, but does that help our position? And I hope you don't mind me saying our, because like Daniel, I do want to offer you know the hand of friendship and Sam on on your side. I want to try. If you do go out on strike, that's kind of the end, isn't it? You're shaking your head, tell, tell me how I'm wrong. Um, you know, I, I don't I, know how that I, would be. I'm a senior thing. doctor, and we will support them all the way. No, I know you will. Because if they go out on cover, there are doctors, there are nurses who hold the NHS in such high esteem, and they will be there to cover I for know them. You will. But we won't do the elective work. That's the, mm -hmm. So that will be the message. No harm will come to patients. And that's no, the most important Maybe, maybe I, I didn't put across what I wanted to say then. What I meant was, how does it help our negotiating position? How does it it oh, shows the strength of frustration. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, it's incredibly powerful. But if on the other side of that, you have this really determined health secretary who is determined to deliver this, then my fear, he is, my fear is it will be your back and his back and we'll, that's just my feeling. We'll move no further forward, and I desperately don't want that to happen. We don't do bullying, I'm afraid. You're good. Okay. Good. We, just, we, don't, we don't do bullying, and we don't do intimidation. If this is, if this is what we've come to, then there's only one person to blame for that. It's not you, Heidi. It's great that you're here, and it's great to hear what you have to say, but I'm afraid it's Jeremy Hunt. But we do have the opportunity still for negotiation, and I just want us to try every tool in the box to help oh, with that. I in real terms, what does that mean? Can you tell me? Well, I haven't got the job. Okay, guys, we'll do the Q&A at the end. Yeah, sorry. But to be
be, to be fair, this is, this, is, this, is, this is the stuff I want because you know you need to help me understand how to move this forward. We'll get to that, I promise. Okay. Um, I mean, I think pretty much um, I've probably said most of my little squiggles on my piece of paper, um, but it is it is genuinely to say I, I'm sorry. <coughs> there has to be a better way. You don't want the NHS to fall over. Jeremy Hunt certainly doesn't want the NHS to fall over. <laughs> but I am here to... <laughs> yeah, I haven't suddenly talk about that on the radio today, actually. Well, I don't have time to read books, but... But just to say, I am here. I say it to my constituents. I'm your missile, okay? There are so many different areas of an MP's workload. Housing, health, you name it. Fill my head with what I need to know. Point me and then I go. Okay, so I am here to take what you need to move this debate forward. I'll take any questions you've got. How about he stick to the facts rather than actually start bullying people and calling us militant doctors and actually ensuring that people coming after us, people at a medical school, don't actually get trampled on by Jeremy Hunt? How about that? Forgive me, but I, I can't I can't correct his behaviour. I can't speak for how he you know you're asking me to, to change how somebody, how somebody else you know your perception of how they behave. I can't I can't do that. But but I, I me Heidi here, I can't change. Guys, guys, um, I only can't answer on behalf of Mr. Hunt. She's not his PA, she's not his um, she's not his advocate. Can we give her a round of applause as a conservative?